Hey guys, it's David. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I am gonna do my first ever podcast. And I'm here with my best friend, Hannah. Hello. So um, we're gonna be talking about college and just our experiences so far. Um, and just kind of talking about what we've both gone through and just share kind of stories. So me and Hannah are actually both wearing green. We didn't even plan this out. Like it, it just happened. <laughs> so, um, if you notice, I have a earbud and I'm talking. So basically, me and Hannah are talking on the phone, but we are recording individually because of Corona. Yeah, it's quarantine so, is not easy to film stuff in. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> so if. If you think like, like okay, what what's going on? That's why. So don't think I'm crazy. Yeah, we promise but, we would have gotten together yeah. to film this if we could, but obviously there's yeah. been, a, been a problem with that. So we'll keep it like that. But for this episode, we're gonna I'm gonna try and make sure David isn't too formal because you have a habit of not of being <laughs> so formal, and I'm like it's gonna get boring. If I okay, it's get not speech, my fault though. I mean that's true. That's just your personality, and that's okay. We'll stick to like I just, we need to make sure it's fun. <laughs> So, for the people that um, don't or not don't know, really know me, I tend to be very formal when it comes to like planning anything. So Hannah's is here to make sure that I am like David, just like we're talking on the phone. Yes. Like exactly. The only thing that's different is literally you're talking, you're recording yourself. That, literally, yeah. <laughs> so like, just act like we're on FaceTime like normal. Cause I mean, we FaceTime all the time cause we're both at different colleges. So it's just pretend like it's that. It's just, we obviously aren't being as like petty as we are on FaceTime, but like no one has to know that. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. All, all right. So David, okay. why don't you talk about your, like what college you go to and stuff first. All right. So I um, go to the university of North Texas. Fancy. Go uh, Mean Green. Mm -hmm. So I am double majoring in mathematics and political science. So basically I want to become a teacher with math. So currently I am about to take summer classes. I'm going to take discrete math and calculus too. Cal 2 is hard. Don't take it over the summer. I'm taking it over the summer because I have to be on track. Um, but yeah. So and then um, political science is just in case I run for office one day. You should. We'll see if that ever happens. <laughs> I'd be so cool. But, David um, the senator. That'd be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I've been. Oh, that's true. You've I'm been a senator. You've been a senator for like high school and like college, but like that's different. Now college. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> um, for me, I'm at Texas Tech University. I am majoring in speech, language, and hearing sciences, so I'm planning on being a speech pathologist, which for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar with that because it sounds kind of too fancy, like literally basically what it is is speech therapy, but in, for me personally, I prefer working with those with special needs or learning disabilities and stuff. So um, instead of it just being like stutters, I'll be working with <laughs> my mom, <laughs> I'll be working with um, like special needs kids and helping them, those who are nonverbal especially, so just kind of finding new ways to communicate. So, I'm excited. Yeah. All right, Hannah, what should we talk about first? I think, well like, let's talk about college decision, decisions because I remember vividly, like, David and I have been friends for a couple of years and in our senior year, like, I kept telling him, oh my god, you need to go to Texas Tech, and he's like, no, and then I, he kept telling me, oh, you need to go to UNT, and I'm like, no, so we have to, we should talk about that as to why we chose the schools we did. Okay, do you want to go first? Sure, so I visited, so, you know, I'm a Texan, yeehaw, I guess, <laughs> and um, I, I, country gal, uh, yeah, uh, so, Hannah Witzel, <laughs> Hannah Witzel, um, yeah, I wanted to go to like a Texas school also because the fund that I have, a Texas Tomorrow Fund, I have to go to school in, in Texas for it to help pay for my college. So we but we toured so many colleges in Texas because you know there's a bunch here, and Texas Tech was the last on my list to tour, and we were we already had a plan, plan to go to Lubbock and just kind of 
kind of mini vacation there just because it was a long trip. We just had like a one night stay. My cousin lives there. So we were just like, oh, we'll see my cousin and we'll go visit, visit Tech. At the time, I actually was planning on going to UNT. So I hadn't, I, I didn't have any expectations for Tech. I just thought it would be like nice. But I got there and I set foot on campus. And even though that was like the worst weather day and it was pouring rain, which never happens in Lubbock, by the way, like I still felt like I was at home there. So I was like, yeah, this sounds pretty good. And then I heard about the speech pathology program and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going here. But yep. So what about you, David? Um, so fun story. <laughs> so Hannah actually took me to tour UNT. That's me. Yep. So, uh, so, um, senior year or was it junior year? It was senior year. Senior year. Yeah, it was senior year. Um, so oh, well, I don't know. Me, so we, I just know, I just remember that we were given two days of excuse absence to go to any colleges we want. Mm -hmm. So if we were touring, like, hey, you were at such university doing a tour and stuff. And um, so Hannah was like, you need to find a, choose something. <laughs> and I was like, sure, UNT, I don't know. Okay. I toured UNT in eighth grade. I was not a fan um, at the time. It was just kind of, I don't know, old. Um, the university was, the new uh, um, student union was being built. And I don't know, but going back now, I just fell in love with it. I remember me and Hannah, we were just touring. We, we went to IHOP. Oh, you were late yeah. though. It was okay. But they tore it IHOP down. IHOP was bombed. They tore down the IHOP. It makes me so sad. They closed it. They did. Yeah. They tore down the IHOP because eminent domain, because UNT wants to be bigger. That's a whole different story. Um, but I just fell in love with the campus. It's the outs. I just like the modernness now that it has. Um, they've been renovating a lot of it and the diversity. Um, Originally, I was going to be a music ad major. Um, that was kind of like a period of time that I wanted to do is, because I love music, I'm a choir kid, been in it since sixth grade. And I, I knew I wanted to become a teacher, but I didn't know what type of teacher. So I thought um, that becoming a music ad choir director was kind of like the path for me. Um, Summit short of that kind of chapter. Uh, basically, a month before screening, screen audition. So basically, you you sing two songs, and you send the video to uh, the College of Music at UNT, and then um, they decide if you're good enough, and then you move to the live auditions. And literally, I thought I could just do one month before um, December deadline, and literally my choir director was like David are you kidding me like it's like you want to become a mechanic and the only thing you know was how to wash a car yep that's literally the comparison she gave me and I was like oh yeah procrastination I am I don't do it I, <laughs> true yeah I mean I'm really glad you chose uh like poli sci and and math over that because even though that's double majoring it's a bit harder it gives you more options and i i could see you more on the political side rather than like music side because even though you are good at singing and stuff i can i could so see you as, as a government teacher or a math teacher rather than seeing you as like a music teacher i don't know why but yeah oh i mean um, it's hard but to get used to this camera but yeah continue it is. I'm just, I'm, I don't know, guys. I'm sorry if I have like a weird face. But I'm just kind of, it's because we're not FaceTiming usually. You usually FaceTime. It's okay. It's okay. But, um, we'll figure it out next time. Don't worry. What classes you had that really peeved you? But like, honestly, I just like, oh, what experience me. as in peeved like, that you really didn't like care for much? Um, uh, but like. Uh, I didn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I didn't like any of them. I really enjoyed most of them. Um, I just had being kind of like your first year, first semester, everything seems so scary. Yeah. Um, but most of my professors were just like, some of them were really passionate about what they did, which I personally liked because they made the class a bit more fun. Um, only thing about pre-cal 
is my professor was a little not mean not or grumpy but just kind of like intimidating he was really passionate yes intimidating and literally if you would fall asleep in his class he would literally stop or if you're on your phone or anything he would literally stop and like call you out oh my God. that's terrifying in my opinion because it's like it's it's like literally like the scariest thing ever i remember literally this one dude actually fell asleep he was like literally snoring <laughs> and he stopped the lecture and just stared at him oh that poor dude like no lie he just stared and and then like for five minutes no joke and then he's still like wake up that's so awkward and i was like holy that oh holy i hate that's so awkward oh nope. um for me i mean like most of my professors have been really nice which i got lucky for but um there was like one professor who really it was last semester i, I think it was i'm pretty sure it's biology but, and he was, like, he seemed like a fun guy at first. He was a little bit on the older side, and he always made jokes. And, like, he also would go on political tangent, tangents, which at least his political views aligned with mine, so it wasn't like he was going on tangents about stuff that I didn't agree with. But it still was going on tangents in a biology class. And, which I was like, I'm not really here to hear about politics. I know how bad it is right now, trust me. Um, but, uh, like, <laughs> he also, like, see, I use, I got this MacBook, which I know, like, I don't like bragging about it, but it's, like, I spent two thousand dollars on this thing. Like my dad and I, my dad helped me pay for it, and we also used my graduation money for it. So I spent a lot of money on this thing. It's gonna have to last me, and I was gonna take all my notes on it. And the professor, like, he would let us take notes on it, but then he would be like, he's like, kids these days with technology, like, I don't know if you're paying attention or not. If you're using your laptop, he's like, I can't stop you because tech, because uh, tech, tech policy says you you can use your laptop if you want. But blah 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 blah. And like every day, we'd talk, go on tangents about it, and I'm like. Oh my god, if you don't want to see something, just say so. I would bring it open next time. Like, my god. <laughs> um, it was really, it was a bit obnoxious. I kind of stopped, like, I don't know. I just didn't care much for it. <laughs> he was, uh, he stressed me out. He was, uh, he was a little, he was okay. But the class, weird, weirdest part of that class, though, was, so, like, for my major, I have to get prerequisites to go to the health science center to get my actual degree, which is where all my classes there will be speech pathology related. But right now, all of mine are basically nothing related to my major at all. So I was taking biology, um, I was taking biology of, um, of animals, I believe. And at my lab, we had to raise a cockroach. It was the weirdest, weirdest thing. I don't, like, how does, I don't, like, it was either that or anatomy, and even though you may think, oh, anatomy would suit you better, why didn't you choose anatomy? Like, I cannot do book for the life of me. <laughs> and also, like, in the future, I'll have an anatomy class just for speech pathology, so it's all, like, lungs and up. So that's all I need to know. So why bother with every single little muscle in the body? So, yeah. but it was a weird class, but this last semester, though, was really fun because um, I had a class that I got to go teach at a preschool. It was the most fun thing ever, but it was really sad. I didn't get to say bye to my kids because I didn't know I was going to see them again. So... It's a little sad, but I saw their notebooks and their, and their drawings so and nice. how they wrote my name. Rip. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so how about what clubs are you in, David?